All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x is equal to x over 3. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by multiplying both sides by 3. So I get 3x is equal to x. And from here, what most people would do is divide both sides by x. But if you do this, you get 3 equals 1, which is an incorrect statement. So instead, what you should do is subtract x on both sides. So you get 3x minus x, which is 2x, is equal to 0, meaning x is equal to 0 divided by 2, which is 0. Now, another way to solve this is x equals x over 3. I'm going to subtract x over 3 on both sides. So now I get x minus x over 3 is equal to 0. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times x over 3 is just x. So I get 3x minus x is equal to 0, meaning 2x is equal to 0, and x is equal to 0. All right, so in this video, we're going to be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to 8. So at first glance, this problem may look challenging. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln x to the power of x is equal to ln 8. And a helpful property that comes with logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent to the front, so this turns into L b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I get x times ln x is equal to ln 8. Now from here, I'm going to use another formula that states that if I have something in the form w of a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. And this is something known as the W Lambert formula. So if I take the W of something in the form a times e to the power of a, it's going to equal a. So in this case, I'm going to rewrite this as ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 8, because x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x. So now I can use this formula. So I'm going to take the w on both sides. So I have w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to what I have to do on one side, I have to do the other side. So I, w of ln 8. And this simply turns into e to the power of ln x is equal to, or sorry, ln x is equal to w of ln 8. And then now I'm going to take e to the power of both sides. So I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8, and e and ln cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8. So this is my value of x. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family members. And I have a lot of problems like these on my channel, so please make sure to go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys for watching.